All right, I'm taking measurements of uh, the clay because the gentleman that's going to take it to Las Vegas wants to build a box big enough to hold it while he travels. I'll be right back. I'm going to be switching over to another piece that I need to work on in just a minute. Time to play with some clay. I got it here. The uh, horse uh, action I'm going to be reproducing is this one here. I'll post a picture of it uh, a little more clear on the video itself. But uh, I like the action and uh, I've just got to work out how the two horses are going to be mounted and how I can pull them apart and work on each horse separately. And that's what I have to work, uh, work out. Alright, I got the uh, first horse mounted somewhat. Now, be mindful, I don't know if this is going to work at all. So, it's, uh, it's working out. It's just a matter of engineering everything and making sure everything works. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and anchor this I think I'm going to anchor that down right now so that uh, I won't be having it fall over during the night. And that way I can figure out what I'm going to do with the uh, head. Let's see. The body. Alright, I'm going to be Getting back on this clay of the two fighting horses. Can't remember what I was going to call it. Difference of opinion? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, I've got to uh, get this ready to go to Las Vegas too. So, um, I'll be working on this for the next week or so. Maybe two weeks. And I've got one more to work on. I can't remember which one he wanted me to work on. So I'm going to have to contact him. <clears throat> I've got a couple of horse maquettes that I use. One from uh, uh, anatomytools.com, and it's not cheap. I, I, I'll tell you right now, this is really expensive. It comes with a plastic base, but I made my own base because I wanted to be able to twirl it around and look at it from all angles without constantly moving the plastic base so I had this uh, uh, brass tube that I could put the uh, wire that's in the bottom of the, the horse into and uh, it holds holds it upright and uh, I'm able to turn it without damaging the uh, resin I have this really nice uh, resin that I got from uh, 3d total dot com a long time ago well not a long time ago probably a year ago and uh it's really a nice uh anatomy um uh, tool for a horse um so you might check into this one on 3d total dot com all right i got a I got these horses done on separate bases. Okay. Now I just have to remove it from the clay. Put it on the turntable so I can work on it. 
All right, I'll be right back after I get this all connected. All right, I'm finally got this thing set up. It took me a while to get this thing figured out again, but I'm going to go ahead and start uh, shaping a little bit today. I'm not going to worry about the anatomy as much as far as every tendon or muscle. I'm going to make this kind of a... Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Anyway, I'm not going to try to fine-tune the surface of this clay. I want to keep its sculptural quality to it. I gotta figure out how to raise this up even higher because it's uh, too low for me to work on this part of the leg. I'd have to scrunch down a lot and I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I've got the hoofs to do. I've got the legs to uh, finish off. I got a lot of the muscle structure to build all right this start works out good for me i've got this uh set up a lot higher now this is at eye level for me which is good it's not down below my eye which makes it bad it also helps me to see underneath areas i couldn't see before so I'll be on this tomorrow, and uh, we'll see how far I can get on this uh, clay this next coming week. But anyway, I'll be on this tomorrow, and uh, I think I'm going to redo that tail. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it off. Because it's in the way right now. I'll leave the armature there. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.